going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. I got a comment on my last video, and he says, uh, the subscriber says, I want to do what you do. Okay, well, I can teach you what I do, but depending on your area, it may or may not work. In my area, I have, uh, I can pull a reefer, I can pull a dry van, I can pull a flatbed, I can do power only. I can do pretty much anything. I can pretty much do anything and run local, pretty much, for the most part. But what I do is I do flatbed. And a lot of my loads are, now let me go this way. I'm trying to make this video, and do, I, I, I think better when I drive. Imagine that, truck driver think better when I drive. But I pull, most of my loads consist of salt, palletized salt, crane mats, because they're putting the pipeline in, shingles, and occasionally I'll go get some like minerals, minerals and like the super sacks. And maybe like some some type of steel coming out the port or near the port. And that's about it. And I just run back and forth, you know, every load. I do day trips, so I'm home every night. No, brother man, you can't do that. You gotta run over the road. You gotta run 3,500 miles a week, brother man, to make any money. That's what they tell you. And that's the stuff that you gotta get out of your head. That's the stuff they want you to, to think. That's the stuff they want you to base your business on. But some of us have seen through all that jargon and stuff like that and realize that the money's in the short hops. If it's available, you know, because it's not available everywhere. So those type of commodities is what I pull. Simple. Um, So like I said, I'm home every night. Usually I run about no more than 250 miles a day, if that. Um, I work in normal, it's like I'm getting up and going to a day job. I start my day about five. I get up at five, get to the truck about maybe, I depend on what I have on. Get to the truck about 5.30, leave out about six o'clock. Then I'm pulling back in, in the yard somewhere around three or four, depending on what I have on the back. Um, it's pretty simple. I mean, I could teach somebody how to do it, but, you know, you have to listen to what I said. You can't come in, you know, you, you can't, you can't, there's a formula. With the trucking, there's a formula. There's a basic formula that, you know, that you're supposed to, I wouldn't say supposed to follow, but that if you follow the formula, you will do okay. Some people will take the formula and they will turn it into a hybrid formula. It may work, it may not work. You follow me? So, let me tell you about my week and some of my numbers. I'm not gonna give you the exact number. You just have to follow along. You gotta get your little calculator out and do the math. I ran all week this week. I did, no, I had uh, Wednesday off because it was a holiday. It was one of their holiday, not my holiday, because if you're black, you shouldn't be celebrating 4th of July because that holiday is not for you. So I had that one day off. So I, I got preloaded on Friday, last Friday. I ran all week Monday, all, I ran all week, had that Wednesday off. And then at the end of the Friday, after I did all my paperwork, I calculated up four, not four, 948 miles. About half of them were loaded, half of them were empty, because I'm go home every day. My average for all miles was $5.01. Think about that. Now, you will hear other people talking about I'm happy making two dollars a mile gross. Okay, bruh, listen. I hear what you're saying. I know it's easier 
to have somebody find your loads for you, but you need to find your loads yourself. Just use me in, as an example, not just me, other people too, other people on YouTube. And this is a company I used to work for. I used to pull containers for this company. If you see the logo on the shirt, now I'll hide it away. Now, you, now people won't be stopping the video rewinding, but do the math, right? So I have this app on my phone and it's a, it's a calculator where I can plug in all my numbers, my, all my line item numbers, all my fixed cost numbers, and that cup of coffee, uh, the, the sandwich, fuel, back office stuff, uh, transflow fees, quick pay fees, all that type of stuff. I can plug this number, the, these numbers into the calculator, this calculator. And it will give me what I need to run my truck at to, to run it at a profit. So to make a long story short, I was running at a 100 and I don't have the exact number on here. 100 and I'll just say it 100% profit because I don't know what the, remember what the exact number was. 100% profit based off of my information that I put into the uh, into this little calculator. 100% profit. Home every day. 948 miles to all miles at five dollars and one cents a mile that was after all the fuel and everything was taken out and they will tell you that you got to run 3,500 miles a week to be profitable in truck that's a lie and I try to tell people this stuff but they don't want to listen well people try to tell you stuff when you and listen you're right I didn't listen I remember the first day well I should say the first day I picked up a load <clears throat> I picked up a load at Sam Adams up in Allentown I backed into the dock and uh, the guy next to me he was an owner operator had his own MC number I knew that because I was, I was talking to him and he's like I was telling what I was doing and he was like no he's like no he said, you get your own numbers, you get your own authority, you get your own numbers, you do your own thing. He said, this load right here, I forget where he said he was going. That road's pretty bumpy. I'm going to the corn, not the corn, the cattle fields down here, dirt road. Um, he said, you get your own numbers, get your own authority, do your own thing. He said, this load is paying me six grand. I don't remember where it was going. I was like, what? I was like, man. And here I think I'm doing something with my $400 a day gross and it still didn't pay for fuel. So I'm thinking, wow. And then, you know what else he said? He said, you get your authority first. Then you run that. Then if you decide you want to go back to that, you can always go back to that. In other words, he was saying, see, a lot of us, even not me, I mean, it's... We think we do the lease on thing first, which is, is all right, it has its place. We do the lease on thing first, then we get some experience and we go from there to go from there and go from there to get your authority. Well, this guy, he just said, man, just get your authority. I mean, you, I mean, you, I guess you'll make the money to cover the mistakes, any mistakes that you made. I guess that's what he was trying to say. But um, that's just my story. The money's out here. No, you don't have to run long miles like some of these cats. I, I, I just, Oh boy, man, but that's all, it's getting dark. Uh, that is my time, I'm at nine minutes. I know uh, <clears throat> some of us have a, a short attention span. We ain't talk about <clears throat> the latest thing on YouTube. Um, uh, that's all, we'll see you.